They're not on any roster or official members of any team, yet they play a crucial role in the success and development of collegiate women's basketball. They are the male practice players, part of a technique now used in women's programs throughout the country. Basically, we're here to hustle and get them into situations of pressuring the ball, rebounding, really hard crashing the boards, running our lanes, and, and just playing really fierce defense. We're just trying to, you know, make them excel and uh, throw different stuff at them, maybe trap them, stuff like that. So basically, help their offensive game. They're such an asset to the team because they just, they make girls basketball better and it's kind of, you know, helping us change the game to not slow and, you know, speeding up the game and it's making it more exciting. When we play each other, sometimes you like, you don't want to hurt each other or we don't go as hard as we can because, you know, we're playing against our friends, but the guys are tougher than us and they're faster than us, so we have to play at their level so that makes us quicker, faster, and stronger. Quicker, faster, stronger. Those were the benefits college coaches sought to gain when they began implementing the practice as far back as the 70s. Its popularity has spread exponentially, and today's coaches swear by the results. It changed the whole complexion of our team, the intensity level, the, uh, you know, the quickness, uh, the strength that you had to have to play against those guys, uh, I think prepared us to play at a higher level than we would have uh, had we not done that. I'm really big on male practice players. It can go simply back to when I was playing in college. I spent all my summers in the rec gyms playing against guys because of their speed and how they could get out and pressure you, how they could get in the passing lanes or how physical they, they are. And I think we should embrace it uh, because it advances the women's game. Now they're not more skilled than our players are, but it's a way to get a bigger, faster, stronger person playing against our players. But have the benefits come at a cost? This is the question posed by the NCAA's Committee on Women's Athletics. After two years of research, they released a statement calling for a ban of the use of male practice players, contending it violates the spirit of gender equity in Title IX and results in diminished participation opportunities for female student athletes. Our concern is what is happening with players number 8 through 15 on a women's basketball roster. Are they sitting there watching their best players, their, their starters, play against men? But just as importantly, if not more importantly, is scholarship opportunities. If coaches are now leaving four to five roster spots open, uh, that, that tends to really pile up. Division I women's basketball teams are allowed up to 15 scholarships, but many of the top programs have begun carrying a smaller roster, which the committee attributes to the existence of male practice players. But as far as practice time is concerned, coaches remain adamant that if used properly, nobody should lose any opportunities to play. They've allowed us to play more girls at practice because we now get to play five at a time. You know, we go up and down a few times, we've got five more coming in. So really our bench is getting a much better workout than they would have if we were going against ourselves. For a lot of these people who are now suggesting that it's a hindrance to the growth of the women's game because it denies women opportunity. It's just people rambling on about things that they're not, uh, they're not sure about. While the NCAA investigates further, male practice players will continue to play a big role in women's athletics. As for the practice players themselves, they're just happy to contribute while they still can. If I'm watching the game, it's kind of cool knowing that you were practicing with these girls and you're cheering for them and you can see them develop each game. They're getting better and better. And it's cool knowing that you helped them get that far.